Hi, this is Piero, Technical Director of SecPoint, introducing firmware 53 of the Penetrator. Something I would like to point out in this firmware is the possibility to downgrade the risk level of vulnerabilities. It may happen that a vulnerability with some risk level is too strict according to your experience or perception and needs to be downgraded. The downgrade function is available in all those pages where the list of vulnerabilities is displayed. The vulnerabilities can be seen clicking the target name in a scan or the sheet icon in the options field. In the list of vulnerabilities the downgrade function can be found on the right side. The icon is in the color the vulnerability will receive after the downgrade. Clicking on the downgrade button the vulnerability is immediately downgraded to the next lower risk level and the page is reloaded. It is possible to downgrade the same vulnerability more than once until it reaches the informational level. The downgrade button is not shown for vulnerabilities at the informational level. The downgrade affects all the occurrences of the same vulnerability in all the scans of the same user. After a downgrade, the new reports show the vulnerability with the new risk level. Reports available on the home page must be recreated. The count of vulnerabilities visible in the web interface next to the existing scans will be left untouched. However, the count of vulnerabilities will be computed according to the new risk levels in all the new scans. It is not possible to upgrade a vulnerability, but the original risk level can be restored. To do this, go to Menu Vulnerability Scanner, Downgraded Vulnerabilities. In this page, a list of all downgraded vulnerabilities is shown along with their current and the original risk levels. Here you can also further downgrade the vulnerabilities in the list or clicking on this button restore the original risk level. When the original risk level is restored the vulnerability will disappear from the list. The original risk level can also be restored for multiple vulnerabilities at once clicking on this button. Scanning the penetrator is not permitted. Now the penetrator is automatically excluded when its IP address is found in any range of IPs added to a scan. When the list of targets added to a scan includes the IP address of the penetrator, the penetrator is automatically added as an excluded target and removing it from the scan is not possible. When the penetrator's IP address is added alone, it is not added as an excluded target. However, the scan won't take place and an error message is shown on top of the page. Another improvement is in the way port numbers are shown when a vulnerability is found on multiple ports. In such cases, the penetrator counts the vulnerability only once and the information on the port numbers affected by this vulnerability is no longer written to the impact field but now is added as a list of ports in the port field. This change makes it easier to analyze the impact of a vulnerability on the system as this information is also displayed in the list of vulnerabilities of a scan in the web interface. The last thing I would like to point out are two new functions available in the list of the targets of a scan. Here the first icon allows to download the raw status log that has been produced by the vulnerability scanner. Only scans performed after the installation of firmware 53 will show this information. The second one is the human opinion. This icon opens a new page where some information about the current scan is displayed. Here a button allows to send an email to ask for a human opinion about the current target. The result of the scan is sent to SecPoint along with the information displayed in this page. 
checkpoint will submit the result of this scan to their team of engineers and will reply with the result of their analysis. This function is only designed for scans that show unexpected or abnormal results. Well, it's all for now. If you want to read the full list of enhancements of this new firmware, you can download the release notes document from our website. Thank you for your time and see you next time. Bye-bye.